Hey there, welcome to your 11th C++ tutorial and in this video we're gonna learn about the concept of loops. Now the concept of loop is one of the most important concepts in any programming language and in computer programming uh, specifically because you will need the concept of loops in everywhere. So uh, in this video we're just gonna discuss the concept and in the later videos we're just gonna mm, give you examples of loops. Okay. So first of all, for the loops, why are the need? So let me show you a UD playlist first of all. Suppose this is a UD playlist that you are watching and oh what the heck. And you are watching this. Suppose uh, you want this playlist to uh, when it ends you want it to play from the first again. Suppose there are hundred videos and you wanna play from the first to hundred and then from again from one. First 200 again from one. So in order to do that, what you do, you just click this repeat playlist option. So when you have activated this repeat playlist, what happens is this playlist goes to the end and then it starts from the first again. So this is the very very basic concept of loops. Okay, now loop basically means to do the same thing again and again and again until a specific condition is made. Okay, now in this case, what is that specific condition? In this case, the specific condition is until I have deactivated the repeat playlist button. Okay, if I have deactivated it, then it will not go. So, looping basically means doing the same thing again and again until a specific condition is made. Now, this is very, very important. You have to have to give a condition to each and every loop. Otherwise, the loop will execute for infinite time and it will, call, it will be called an infinite loop. Okay, now uh, let me give you an example through a little bit of programming. Suppose I want you, I want, I tell you to write my name. So what you do, go see out, Raja, and in the line. Okay, and you say that, hey, I have done it. I have just printed your name on why it is freezing, I don't know. I have just printed your name on the console. So it's very simple. Now again, I tell you to print my name five times. So what you do, we just copy this name and just go and just paste it five times. Okay, and you say me, hey, it's very easy. I just copy it and paste it five times and it's very easy. Now I tell you to write my name thousand times. Now what you will do, would you just go and copy this thousand times? All the best with that, but I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go and do that. So in order to do the same thing again and again, like thousand times or million times, we have to use the concept of loops. So loops basically means uh, doing the same thing again and again, as I've said before. So we will need this one line, put it inside a loop, so that it will go and execute again and again and again, and it will print Raja again and again and again. I said until a condition is made. So until uh, until it has been printed thousand times, we have to print it again and again. Until it has been printed thousand times, we have to print it again and again. So that is basically the concept of loops. Now in this video, I said that I will only discuss the concept and I will not discuss any of the codes. So this was pretty much the basic concept of loops. And in the next videos, we will learn about very uh, different type of loops in C++, like while loops for loops, do while loops and all that stuff. So I hope your concept of loop has been cleared. I want to make this video only to give you the concepts. Uh, I hope it helped. Thank you very very much for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and share. Thank you.